Hello, I'm Jonathan, also known as the PC Genie. I'll get right to it, as this is supposed to be a bit of a quick one. I recently found out from the sort of dashboard thing on my channel that YouTube are trying to wean out the thing called annotations. Now, if you don't know, annotations allow you to do things like, um, let's say I, I referenced someone in a, you know, reply video. I could maybe use an annotation, which is just a little box on its own and then you click it and you can go to the original video or there are bits of the text that might say something that you hadn't put in through your edit excuse me editing software so uh, to me i think i know under i understand that some people might think that there's no need for them and they just might as well get rid of them but i think they are very useful excuse me and to me i know you wouldn't actively go out to just use them you know you wouldn't make a video with the intention of adding them but they're a bit like a first aid kit in that you know it's not something that you hope you're going to end up using but it is something that when you need it and when it's useful is very good indeed and it's, it does a few things that other features when you're doing editing on your software or the features on youtube itself don't cover uh, I'll give you a couple of examples. One is regarding things developing. Now I'll give you one example. The gameplay you're seeing now in a little compilation is called Exanima. I did a review on it and I mentioned how I, I wouldn't nitpick in doing negative parts of the review about how maybe there were things like brigandine armor which weren't in the game because things were being developed and you know that could end up being in there later. And now I've got an annotation in there which says well what do you know? Brigandine armor is now in the game. So it's that sort of scenario where at the time when I made the video I couldn't edit it in to say this thing is there because it wasn't and it was a scenario where there was no written information or anything if it was going to happen or not it was just a, something I said would be use would be nice to have you know just a teeny little detail from me but later on after the video has been edited and fully uploaded later it has then developed that new information comes to light and this this works in a variety of videos you can imagine if there's maybe something you know something new styled or something trending or recent you could have information that you get later that you couldn't have had before you made the video that you could then add in and make make sure your video is of a good quality by actually showing you're paying attention, you're trying to give that information to the audience even after you've uploaded it with an annotation, which again is something that other YouTube features and anything off of YouTube can't do for you. Unless you're going to add maybe a little comment, but you can't guarantee everyone's going to read the comments. Annotations are there in a the video, you can time it for the exact moment when it's relevant, and you can have it there in, you know, very large and clear but temporarily so it goes away when it's you know not relevant anymore another example is if it turns out maybe in a similar fashion maybe something's wrong or you need to change something uh, for example i saw that this guy uh lindy beach has the thing about he was something about movies and unrealism and silly stuff like that but apparently there was a person who didn't want their picture in there in relevant you know relevance to that topic so annotations being a it's some versions being opaque or you know sort of translucent were used to cover that up so then the person had their request granted without taking the video down editing a sensor on there then uploading it fresh again and then deleting the old version all of the reactions comments and views and all of that destroyed the annotations did the job much yeah. easier and without as much hassle. That's another example. Or I had some very old videos where I was using butted mail armor and very cheap fake weapons that weren't really good. And I was able to say, you know, I, I acknowledged that and I, there were things that I was wrong about and I was naive about. And I was able to acknowledge those later in annotations instead of, again, destroying the stuff, editing it all in, then re-uploading it. So in those instances, annotations are bloody good. Don't get rid of them, YouTube, okay? That is all.